Hello and welcome back, this is Institutorius and I'm going to be playing Kuna. Last episode, well, we had a little treasure hunt going on and now that's that it that's done. I think Whoa, that's right. So we are finally going towards the doctor's house. A little bit weird shadows and lights. And like I said, um Looks a little better. Like I said, I think that I need to find two more icicle persons and uh, see their wizards and then I guess the story continues so I'll try to avoid them for now until I've checked every last of the buildings and maybe something else so, but, again, first things first, and we go and check what we can find. So, how far, let's drive a little bit slower when I'm looking the map. So, yeah, the doctor is first on the left, I might check it, and I definitely try to avoid the, let's hope the, Ooh. Now this is interesting. Yep. It hold. It will help. Hold. It will hold. Held. It held. <laughs> Again, apparently I can't speak. Obviously the doctor is here. And uh, we have Wait. Hmm. Oh, okay. A little bit forward. Not that much. You know if the driving would be a bit easier with the controller. Well, it's not that hard with the keyboard, I'm, but uh, with the gas and brakes, I would assume it would be more smoother. Dr. Bubra's clinic. No idea how to pronounce it, so let's go with that. I'm sorry about that, anyways. <laughs> Mm. French is something I never really learned. I took one course, and that's it. Or prints, that's normal. Outhouse, obviously. No, that's not a landmine. We have a lantern. Well, I might as well take it and put it in my car. I think I have two lanterns now. Duct tape. You never know when you need it. Cozy shelter. I don't hear the weird... Hmm. Okay, that's weird. I got that encoding overload. Why now? It never popped up in the last episode, so why now? Okay, what do we have here? Clinic key. Yes, nice. Uh, nothing on the carpet, but we have the clinic key. So, what does it read? There should be a law forbidding doctors from falling sick. 
Wait, what? Medical emergency in town. The doctor there is sick. I'll be back soon. If he dies, I won't be returning. I'll have to replace him. Okay. Hopefully the encoding thing doesn't come up. This is the first game I have it. In spite of Dr. Beaupre's goodwill, the place didn't look much like a physician's office. It could easily be mistaken for a sewing shop. I had it in part two a few times. Not all the times. Okay, definitely more warmth. Isabel Bubre. So his wife, I imagine. Potato, carrots, onions, whatnot. Don't need those. Food. Books, books, books. Definitely would look like to read those, but don't have the time. Hmm. Nothing. The good doctor, flanked by his beautiful spouse. Pure happiness captured on cardstock. Carl recognized this woman's soulful eyes. Was it Dr. Beaupre who had hit him head-on at the village border? Beaupre, okay. That, <laughs> that makes it easier. Doctors used light-reflecting frontal mirrors to look inside the patient's cavities. That was a bit unsettling. But back then, it was pretty much always the case with medicine. Hmm, cavities... Unknown woman. I never did quite catch her name. The men called her Lore. Lore? Lore? She had a neck wound. There was so much blood. The bullet had done a lot of damage, probably hitting the cerebellum. It was hopeless. She had a cardiac arrest. The men had found her like this. They said, they said, they said. I doubt it. But in a small town like this, it's usually best to turn a blind eye. I've been told to step back from sending out the death certificate. This whole thing sickens me. Hmm. Is this tied to the Hamilton case? There was a suggestion that Hamilton would have killed a woman, maybe? Roser Armand. No medical explanation whatsoever can explain why old Roser is still alive. As we in the trade say, the only way to cure him is to kill him. Well, interesting trade. Sylvie Bedard. All her symptoms point to the same root cause. She's pregnant. She refuses it. She denies it. I'm willing to bet her husband is not the father. Let's just hope it's not Everett Lockhart, though. Or she would have an illegitimate child and syphilis on her hands. Oh. Haughty. There was no doubt that the doctor and Hamilton knew each other very well. William Joseph Hamilton. Haughty. Can't be cured. Chronic food pain. Can't walk long, long distances. Rich. I'll cure him of that one day. <laughs> so I think I read it. Uh, all of them. And uh, yeah, we'll check the journal also communist manifesto a communist manifesto only a few years ago this type of allegiance meant prison time and even at present the western world was very wary of the soviet threat why would the doctor own such a book this Nobody is... kills a rich patient to start a revolution it didn't make any sense he had to dig deeper still to understand Luckily, that was Carl Fulbert's specialty. The history of all hitherto existing society is the history of class struggles. Freeman and slave, patrician and plebeian, lord and serf, guildmaster and journeyman. In a word, oppressor and oppressed stood in a constant opposition to, an un to one another, carried the on an uninterrupted, now hidden, now open fight, a fight that each time ended either in revolutionary reconstitution 
reconstitution of society at large or in the common ruin of the contending classes. In the earlier epochs of history, we find almost everywhere complicated arrangement of society into various orders, a manifold gradation of social rank. In ancient Rome, we have patricians, knights, plebeians, slaves. In the Middle Ages, feudal lords, vassals, guildmasters, journeymen, apprentices, serfs. In almost all of these classes, again, subordinate gradations. Right, okay. Interesting. Are the good doctor sure has interesting to read books to read and the chamber pot fortunately for Carl inspecting it wouldn't further this particular investigation yes uh, no 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 don't close the door open the other one first aid kit yes we do need those Store in a cool, dry place with a constant temperature, they said. Well, that would be the optimal way, but you do what you do. Earth doesn't look this big from big from here. Okay. The doctor is apparently fascinated by history. There's nothing wrong with that. And, yes, blood. Someone had lost a few liters of blood here. Carl's first thought had been a lumber accident. Someone's hand cut by a saw, or a hunting accident. In any case, whoever had lost all this blood couldn't have gone far. Perhaps they were already dead. Well, according to the good doctor, she's dead. Because I'm guessing that's the... That's from the unknown woman. Ah. Carl got the trembles as he imagined the excruciating pain that kind of scalpel could no doubt inflict. Within these miserable walls, patients probably felt more like in a slaughterhouse than in a doctor's office. Really? Okay. I guess Carl doesn't like doctors. Okay, there's nothing there. Um, no, I don't feel it just yet. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that, the water. Attach wire. Do I need another one? Probably not. For the one-eyed, or for other vision problems, the eye patch was the way to go. Hmm. Yes, matches. Hands when locking a door is isn't enough. Okay. So is that a or do outside? Please use the other door. Oh, okay. Huh. What am I missing here? Or am I missing anything at all? I don't think so. Well, that's nice. Cozy fire. Yeah, I think I'll have checked everything. So, young woman. Sample of stained sheet. Yes. I was here to investigate some window smasher. I end up with a dead body on my hands. Hamilton was murdered. I need to check. Okay. Yeah, we know that. Victor, Dr. Beaupre and his late wife. I know I'd seen the girl from car somewhere. The same picture was at the doctor's office. I need to figure out what this all means.
Uh, here lies Isabel Bobre. That explains the melancholy of the bone behind the picture. Would this be enough to posit that the doctor is the melancholic and that the melancholic is the reckless driver? Elementary, my dear journal. In the box I found a state of... Hmm. So doctor maybe? Snow. I saw some very weird eyes earlier. Strange visions. So I think I've read these already. Hamilton's murder. Isabel's picture being in a, the reckless driver's car such as Dr. Bobre has something to do with all of this. All that's left is to figure out his exact role. According to the doctor's medical file on Hamilton, the two men seemed to get along pretty well. Were they friends? Hamilton had so few. It's never good to disclose communist ties in a small village like this, where established order is fiercely defended. Was it only intellectual curiosity on the doctor's part or actual convictions? Okay, so yeah, it probably was a doctor who hit us. Or maybe just doctor's car, who knows. The young woman. This file seems incomplete. Who is this Cree woman and what happened to her? Everything points to a certain death, but no, no death certificate. I'm no doctor, but I know fresh blood when I see it. Someone bled profusely in this office, less than two days ago. Nothing weird about that, unless it wasn't an accident. Which definitely makes sense. What's the new in here? Hmm... Ross, whatever they were scared of, their escape got complicated. Looks like they went through the forest. Okay. Please. Um, Probably nothing new. The doctor became somewhat of a misanthrope following his wife's death. However, he treated his patients with professionalism. In remote regions, medicine could be very personal. His patients' files show how emotionally, emotionally involved he was towards them. He knew my, my client, W. Hamilton. I can't say if he liked him or for his personality or his money. Old Rosaire. According to his medical file, his, this Great War veteran is an immortal soldier, soldier it's hard in the north that even alcohol and tobacco can kill can't kill as dashing as he was in his youth okay oh this it seems something terrible happened to her her case is shrouded in mystery i'd bet my bottom dollar she wasn't from around here needs more research indeed it is so i think we're done here now. Well, I go to the Rosaire's place. Uh, see what I can find from there. Hopefully something interesting. I might as well take one log. Hmm. Nothing interesting wrong. Or... felt like he knew the doctor now. His belongings had spoken lengths about him. But what Carl had heard worried him. Okay. Well, there wasn't really that much. In there. Next stop is Rosaire. And I almost got stuck there. Hmm. Wait. 
know this. I don't really know if there's something over there. Oh, I just look, but. But, 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 I don't really see. It is tempting to go around, uh, running around to the snowstorm and see if I could find something, but also it's not that tempting. Because it's quite cold. There are wolves about, but... Smoke coming from the chimney. We have a little shed in here. Is it open? No. I have started. Nice. I still haven't found a rifle. Although I have a few bullets for it, if I think, if I remember correctly. And yes, I have the pistol with three rounds left. That's not that much. Almost thinking that I could discard it, but... Uh, in the car, not drop it. really windy hopefully I find something warmer to wear I can hear music and again smoke from the chimney but I'm guessing there's no one inside unless I got really lucky Well, color me surprise. There might actually be someone alive in here. That would be the first. Hopefully he doesn't shoot me. Hmm. Well, well, well. Let's see if he's actually alive or not. Okay. I was almost half expecting that. Je m'attendais pas à ce qu'un étrange retourne ici par ici. Moi te dire, je prends plus de chance depuis que ça rôde dans ce bout là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt, et puis bang 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 si ça s'approche. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for that. And I si talk. Tu veux du linge chaud parce que tu es habillé comme un gars de la rue. Je dirais pas non à une bonne bouteille de caribou. Puis tu pigeras ce que tu voudras parmi mes denim. <laughs> okay, so he needs caribou. How do I do caribou? Um Okay. I would like to have the gun, but if he's alive, that's okay. Let's. What do we have here? Tales and legend. So, are you saying that the creature that is hunting us is Wendigo? Tales and Legends, page 1. There was a time when hate waged war. Our hunters could decimate the great wolves who had taken our children. Our warriors could snap the necks of the cowards. Our warriors could snap the necks of the cowards who had reached out for our supplies. 
The deafening sound of rock and bone breaking was enough to satiate their hate and the rivers of blood would express our remorse and apologies. Thus was balance maintained. Then came the whites. The legend of the Vendigo dates back to the time before what anyone but the tallest trees can remember. A time of great cold and great aspirations, when the ships came and spewed men and their fire cannons, plagues and spine spinelessness, balance broke forever, the dead were piling up on an ancestral lands, too many bodies covered in moss, too much blood spilled on our stone, our bone-breaking hate did not suffice any longer. One day, a young warrior who had lost everything, nieces, brothers, parents, and hope, fell to his knees in the middle of a small clearing, covered in the blood of his fiancée, killed after having crossed the path of some whites passing by. He had seen everything and called out to the great spirit, called out to him with words. Great spirit called out to him with words that came so naturally to him. Words that could only create river of blood and guts and a terrifying roar of screams. He called out to him for a force that no one had, he, no one had had before. He, he became Vendigo. The whites were decimated under the icy claws of the Vendigo. The great tide of blood even pushed a few ships back to out, back out to sea. But the Vendigo was not yet done with his vengeance. For as long as the heart of one of his fiancé's murders still beat on Cree territory, he would prevail. The elders say that it was the force of the ancestors returned to It was the force of the ancestors returned to the nature that turned the young warrior. In this clearing where many where many ancestors had been buried in the centuries past, a clearing now covered in blood spilled unjustly in a time where too many bodies were being buried. The ancestors heard the cries of the young warrior. Only, only in a remarkable time like this he could this could he could the Vendigo have been born. His vengeance satiated the warriors satiated. The warrior became Vendigo when become Ven, Vendigo went to rest forever. His frozen heart melted and disappeared much like real snow come to the spring comes come the spring the storm that had befallen the Cree lands had lands faded as well there was much celebration balance had been restored but the whites came back too white hatred is never satisfied by rock and bone turned to dust they are arrived by hundreds armed with guns and torches burned down every village raped every woman smashed the head of Every newborn tortured every man and that fell into their grips. Never before had unbalance been so deep for the Cree people, peoples and ever since. It has been told that one should be satisfied with the rivers of blood brought by hatred despite the wrongfulness done to them. Because remarkable hate comes at far too steep a price. The Vendigo was never invoked again, but in the hearts of the Cree people remained a fear that one day a young warrior would once again call out with remarkable hate. Because they know through the wisdom brought by this legend that Vendigo, that Vendigo would prevail, but that this victory would come at a great cost. The whites would come back, the whites would rule, none would be spared. So, okay, working theory. The young Cree woman was killed, and his fiance woke up the Vendigo, or turned to Vendigo. Sweet Rose Latulip handing herself off. Wait, what? Herself over to the devil. Oh, that day that will make the wedding fever pass. Okay. So, what do I need to do to make the caribou? I have no idea. 
I'm guessing it's an alcohol drink. You could hurt yourself, okay. Hmm, nice. Toilet. Yeah, no worries with that. Smokes, smoke fest that the Kaiser still remembers me. Shotgun, bang bang, I told him bang bang bang. Huh. Good old days, yes, indeed. So, let's see the journal. Because it would seem that we definitely need to have that check it I'm actually surprised we find somebody alive mm, where is it um I met, I met an old man a bit mad in exchange of a caribou and unpalatable drink he will give me a coat unbelievable offer Indeed is. Before I really... Ah, in spite of... Uh, according to his medical... Yes, as addressing as he was a youth. In spite of that, he doesn't have all his wits about him anymore. It has its benefits. We can ask anything from him, provided that we bring him alcohol. He agrees to help me. Okay, before we worry about a garibou drink, I'll go and see the rest of the big houses. Oh right, I need to close the door. Oh, he's a rather interesting person. Let's get back into the car. So first left. Did I say left? What there did... Carl had fed his mind, but had forgotten the harsh reality that his body also needed nourishment, especially in the dead of winter. Hmm. Yeah, first left. Let's see what we can find from the two of the buildings. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Hmm. What's over there? Basically, there shouldn't be anything, but I'll go and check. Oh. Begin the loading. Okay. I... I think I don't go there just yet. Yeah. Good to know it's there, and I guess I need to get there at some point, but not yet. Damn those wolves. I'm almost certain that is again one of the important places to visit, but not yet. Okay, there's a car. House of the pa Patriot, okay. Good to know.
I didn't see any mailbox outside. What can we find from the car, if anything at all? That truck had obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic, but he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. With that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. Right. I don't know if it's really worthwhile to take pictures of those blue eyes. I'm guessing we will find um, one icy body around here, most likely. Okay. Somebody's been practicing. With a homemade shooting range such as this, it wasn't hard to imagine a stray bullet ending its course inside the flesh of an unsuspecting passerby. Granted, Carl thought, there wasn't much in the way of passersby around here. That is certainly true. Cigarettes, yes. Hmm. Matches. Beer bottle. Fine. I'll. Oh, inventory full. Do I actually have wood? I do. Okay, that's good. I don't need to take one. Let's see what waits us inside. The place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Hmm. Well, weird. There's no body. Well, to be honest, that's a great thing. Good news. Okay, so we have a letter. Reach out. Back then. In Africa and elsewhere, people were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. In Montreal, mailboxes were blown up, abductions were carried out, and violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. But around here, in the great northernmost, all a man could do is curse out loud against the faraway evil and pray for the revolution to arise. That man, by any reckoning, was from that very stock. Viva la revolution. Quebec liberation will happen by force or not at all. We will prevail. Well, well, well. What an interesting thing. What's that? Soap. Rock music invaded the minds of men even in the remotest of places. Oh, Led Zeppelin. The man didn't own a turntable though, so there's that going for him. <laughs> okay. Wallet. Today Jean Bluin. Seems like that pig had a name after all. Right. Why are we talking about pig oh i see okay why wash dishes when clean ones are within reach hmm okay aluminium in More dirty dishes. A gun rack. A gun rack. A gun rack. But it's empty. Ah, prepare caribou. So I need something 
an empty bottle. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Okay, so yeah, what am I missing? The rag reeked of fermented vomit. Carl wondered how one could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. That is a good question. Carl knew right away that the owner of this place wasn't a copper collector. No, this was a junk man's base of operations. Hmm. The guy definitely seemed like quite the expert in scavenging scrap metal, with or without permission, surely. In the right hands, red metal could sell like hotcakes. Yes, I know. So what else? Am I on coffee? Carl now knew how to quench the drunkard's thirst. Caribou traditional recipe. White whiskey, too much isn't valid quantifier for that. Sherry wine for added mellowness. I think I have a sherry wine. Long Island iced tea and gin fizz. Fids. Okay, so let's go and grab the sherry wine because I think I already have it. But I think I left it in the car. Mm, empty bottle. Get in. Water bottle. Beer bottle. Wait. Oh, what am I actually missing? No, I have sherry wine with me. I don't have an empty bottle. Oh, <laughs> okay. Makes more sense. So now I should have empty bottle. I guess I made a mistake and I was supposed to drop a damn sherry bottle, but I dropped the empty bottle. Well, doesn't really matter. So now we can make the caribou. And, um, well, I'll take a quick break and get something to drink. Next we next step will be we go to Lamoth building. And then probably back to Old Rosair. Get ourselves a cozy jacket. And I'm guessing then we could go to the ice cave. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, that seems like a plan. Hopefully. So, anyways, I'll go get something to drink and I'll be right back. Okay. So, last building. Then I probably have checked everything I can for now. Ah, uh, I mean from the houses. And now I have the caribou. So I can get the warmer coat. Carl felt that it was mission accomplished with the wicked nectar in his hands. Okay, good. Turn, turn. Yes, yes. You can do it. Yes. Very nice. I'm almost half tempted to... Wait, what is that? What is that? Everything is so white. Uh... Again, what do I do with the hardware? I really don't know. I might as well take it. How 
Have I said this game is quite beautiful? If I haven't, well, it's a quite beautiful. <laughs> So, what we will find from the last, okay, okay, let's go and see. Before I go there, I'll check what's up over there. And obviously the mailbox. Dear Mr. Lamoth, here is the spark bug you order for your Olympic ski do. This model being very popular has made it difficult to find brand new part as quickly as usual. Part as quickly as usual. Thank you for choosing the carriage Botvan and fails in Chipogamau. Sincerely, Gaetan Botvan. Okay, so we got a spark plug. So, am I guessing that we will find a new vehicle for us? But do I want to change my vehicle? I'm hearing, is it coming from this? Or maybe there's actually a frozen body over there. And you could have gone through the fence, but whatever. Let's open this. So we have a car. Nope. Can't open doors. Well, this truck's not going anywhere. You Where think? Where were the amputated parts? Carl grinned as he pictured a Frankenstein-esque car lying around somewhere made of parts from a dozen different vehicles. Okay, that's a weird thing to say. Nice catio. They say it's supposed to soothe the soul. But with this powerful gale that seemingly never sleeps, it was far more likely to get on anyone's nerves. Yeah, most of the time they just annoy. But they can be nice at some sometimes. What is that? A lawnmower. Moving mowing the lawn is unnecessary at this time. Thank you, stating the obvious. Couldn't have guessed. Bench, okay. Oh, we are fixing that over there. Yeah, I saw it. It was so cold already. Carl did not feel his toes anymore. I need to go inside. Well, can I? I need wood. There's a wood pile. I could take it from my back of my truck, but Hamilton. I won't be your dog anymore. Now that sounds interesting. Rather ominous, I would say. Nice. Dear Mr. Lamoth. Well, at Amipak, same story. Large deserts conducive to extravagant follies. Okay, dear Mr. Lamoth, following up on your complaint, I'm afraid that the police cannot support your claim alle alleging the sudden appearance of a 
man who came from outer space on your village territory. Manifestly, what happened at Roswell in New Mexico left a deep impression in, on you, and we should, and we would urge you to consult with a physician as soon as possible. Regarding future potential complaints, let it be known that Judicial District of APTB does not believe in little green men. Regards, Pierre Valjean, Clerk Suret de Coup, Quebec. Suret de Coup, Quebec. Ah. Follow up on a complaint. Okay. Can't even pronounce anything, so let's inspect this. Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those hmm. pins pointing to places of interest? Oh. Well, it would seem so. There's two, three pins. Huh. That looks interesting. Benefactor Spaniel, page one. Suspension. This suspension has way too many parts. Taking a puzzle apart is easy, but putting it but, but putting it back together is another story. I patch everything up but the tracks. I left them close by. Ski. Don't drink and work. Don't drink and work. Don't drink and work. I'm misplacing parts of the machine. Rajan. Rajan came to help me work on the machine yesterday afternoon. For the most part, he helped me chuck my bottles down to the last drop. I think we tried to ski or something. Bad idea. I still haven't found that one ski velocity process. Body. Uh, that would make a nice beach chair pad. I just need to get all the parts to reassemble it. Electrical. This lamp is pretty well made, suitable for use even in the harshest of winters. I think I'll place it on top of place it on my top secret prototype in the garage space. Garage. Space has got to be pitch black and damn cold after all. Steering. I'll have to hurry up and fix the machine if I'm to travel around the powder snow all winter. Alright, I managed to untangle and replace the brake brakes cable. Date on time for October. Now how about a nice and light blanket of early snow to let the, let the fun begin. Notes. December 1969. Stunts. They're a blast when you're 12 and you go ahead and break your brother's old bicycle, I suppose. Well, I managed to damage my beautiful brand new snowmobile after only two days of acrobatics. Fixing it up will take a while. I'm thinking a year at the very least. Damn it. March 1970. I need to get my hands on that yellow suit including... The the helmet that does with goes with it. Just like the ad. I'll order them from the bay. September 1970. I think I'm done. All that is left is install the parts, get the spark plug I've ordered back in August and still haven't received. Find snowmobile snowmobile's ignition key. I think it's on my bunch of keys, which should be on the generator powering my top secret workshop down south, in which I'm working on my equally top secret machine. Anyways, gotta find the key. Find that key. Now that I've siphoned off the snowmobile gas to feed my truck, I'll have to refuel it if I'm to wander in the snowbanks at some point. Okay. And folio hat. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? Something like that. Eat heap. Oh. If some daring person could manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. Okay. Did he build a fort? It almost looks like it. Holy cow. And... Uh, there's something over there. Apparently Lamoth is a rock collector. Apparently so, yes. So we have some new things before we go to the caves. I guess. Those dots on the 
map. And well, I'm not taking it. What? Third or fourth hammer. Those dots on the map, I'll probably need to mark those somehow. Unless they are all already marked. And I need to find that secret base he's talking about. So we have a few crosses and uh, garlic. I'm guessing he was really afraid of everything. Aliens, vampires, and whatnot. Let's go and see them. Garage. The milk was sorted by color. From the whitest to the greenest. Or in other words, from the freshest to the sourest. More painkillers, nice. Perhaps someone was expecting an important call. In any case, that person's in for a long wait. Carl already noticed that telephone services weren't provided in this area. Yes, they're not. Fill up a gas can. Ah. So can I fill up another gas can? So... By following the plan, Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. Hmm. Am I missing a ski? Um... Well, I'm missing quite a lot, if we are actually truthful. What's... Oh! Get up. Let's see what we can find from here. Build bridge. Well, of course we need to build a bridge. So, of course, now I need the hammer, which I don't have with me, but... Okay. Did I see a track somewhere here? Yep. Well, there's a lamp. Okay, let's go and... You know what? It's faster to grab the... Hammer from here. Oh. And here we are. Oh, traps. So I need to get a... Um, Handlebars. Well, that makes sense, of course. Okay. At least it's quite a sturdy bridge. What am I supposed to do here, then? I don't know. I can't interact with anything. Maybe... Oh, there's a track. Maybe it will come obvious at some point. But I think we found this. So let's see what we can do in the sheets of metal everywhere. Was Carl out of touch with current home improvement trends? Or perhaps this was meant to protect against residual radiation? 
gamma rays? To be honest, who knows what he planned to do? Yeah, I think I found one of them. Another worrisome victim of this ice. This one seemingly petrified in action. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? When did he go? The week of October 5th, thought Carl. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. I'm expecting a nice spark plug around the week of October 5th. It's already paid for. Yeah, we got it. Yes. Some. Come on. Repair mothership. Why not? I have no idea. But at least we repaired it. That's the handlebars. It was an indisputable fact that machines like this entailed a level of intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. Well, it almost worked. What else we can find? Right. But we need the keys. To all appearances, Carl concluded, the owner of the place had moved more essentials from his house inside the garage. Peculiar man indeed. You are correct. Something isn't right when your bed is in your carriage. The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around. Right. But I need the keys. And, um... I think I'll check the vision. That would be the... well, do I want to check it? Uh, no, maybe not yet. What is that? Unused steel trap, not to be touched. Too many orange juice bottles. I do hope they, they have orange juice in, inside them and not something else. Don't see anything else. So, yeah, I'll definitely leave the vision for the next time. So, can I fix this a little bit more? I think I can. Didn't I have a ski? Or am I... Wait... I have one ski. That's the other one then. Hmm. So it's probably somewhere here close. And I'm getting Bold. Again, I'm not certain why I can go to the roof. Did I... Hmm... Man has a passion for intergalactic things. Back then, people were obviously scared of the Russian atomic bomb. 
but an invasion by extraterrestrials was a legit fear as well. Seems like the mechanic had made his choice. Now get to the bag. I need to check my journal also, but I'll check the bag first. Well, there's nothing there. So. I probably need to get my... Get my hands on the warmer coating. So now I know where is at least one of the missing people. Rajan Bluen has a clear ties to the FLQ, a revolutionary for justice and freedom. Might as well say it here. It seems like a perfectly imperfect fit for the savagely capitalistic dreams. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, savagely capitalistic dreams of a rich anglophone and today the village rich anglophone was killed Hamilton seems like Lamoth was Hamilton's minion maybe the subservient not only wanted to be free from his master's rule but also wanted to destroy him completely to be determined young woman Uh, there's a stoppable shell with a manual and a few missing parts. I think I can use it to go through the forest. There must be a pump around here somewhere. At the keys are at the secret project in his mail. So I need to go to the secret project. Which means I probably have to get the jacket. Just to be on the safe side. Loan, this man is a crook. I know scoundrels like him, they only care about laws they can break. Maybe violent, surely disagreeable. Wait a minute. Well, I might as well take those view of the pictures if I can. Where is Lamouth? So let's go and get the jacket. So we can deal Carl with the court. hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. Yes, yes, I know, I know. So wait a minute, let's check a map a little bit. So the secret place is marked, it would seem like it. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna go and get the jacket. Basically what happens next, I'll cut the part when I'm driving towards the... Uh, the veteran, so unless something happens, uh, we see it when I'm there. Okay, nothing really happened. To be honest, it didn't take as long as I somehow thought it would take. So I might as well, well, it really doesn't matter if I trim this or not. But! Oh, 
<laughs> okay. Hopefully you're okay with that drink. And uh, yeah, let's see now. Now I should have a little bit better clothing. Hmm. Where did it? Yes. I need a warm coat. I have that. Guns and ammunition can't be too careful. I would like to have that. A proper mode of transportation vital. So it's this one. Find out how to get rid of the big wall of ice. Well, we probably already know. So you okay? Okay. Now. I'm a little stuck here. So how does it... I have no idea. Now where exactly we are? We are here. There's the secret project. I need to go back to the Lamont place. But I'm interested also those pins on the map. But one is quite close. This cabin has been very generous to Carl. He couldn't have asked for more. No. The one pin is closest, close to the cavern. Is it marking the cavern? I don't know. Although it could make sense. Oh. Maybe I should drive the car closer if I can. It will be interesting to see how well this new jacket serves me. Hopefully quite well, so I don't freeze to death almost instantly. So here we are. Can I... Hmm, I don't think I can actually drive inside there. Do I... Let's see my... How's my inventory space at the moment? Not... Good. Not bad either. So now we are going to see what is with them special place it should be right over there Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation he still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands no no we will find it we find everything hopefully is that a wolf over there um Maybe I should use the axe. Don't notice me. Carl never thought he would be dancing with the wolves. Okay. So that worked. Um, no, no, put it away. Thank you. 
Is that a cross? It is a cross. Okay. The blood and the shape of the hole in the ground left no room for doubt. Someone had been buried here. Someone whose life had been taken with blunt force. Where was the body now? Why had it been buried, only to be dug up later? Carl felt as though he was shrouded in fog. So many questions and still no answers. Hmm. Oh right, I don't have logs. So how's my... Well, it's definitely slower. So what do we have here? Fire starter, nice. So where exactly we are at the moment? Going towards the secret camp. He's been quite busy building very elaborate place, I must say. We have two ways to go, there and there. Let's start with this area first. That large antenna in the middle of the path, undoubtedly ideal in attempting to communicate with little green men, was quite awkwardly placed. There had to be a lever to control it, maybe behind it. Carl would have to figure out how to reach it. Well, let's start with this path then. No, I can't go over there, so only way I can go is here. Oh, we still have two different places to go. Empty. And I'm guessing dead end. Yes, unfortunately. So what do we need to do now? Obviously pull this. The machine seemed to work. Carl sent out an SOS. No reply. Hmm. Well at least I tried. So now we can hopefully enter the compound. I'll probably check that area and then start to think ending this episode. And now I have to think what to do next. Obviously the cave and the visions. But what about the markings on the map? One the is electric terminals appear to be linked together, but for what purpose? Hmm. So that's where the generator key was hiding. All that was left was to use it. Can I open this? No. So... Okay, wait. Turn on. Carl rejoiced at the unexpected source of heat. But not as much as his freezing hands. Yet yeah, this definitely helps. So plus and minus. Okay. Hmm.
Where would... Oh. I'll probably need to follow these. So there's... Okay, what was this? So I'm following plus cable now. It's going right over here. So that should be plus. And then the minus. Oh, it's coming back. Um, hmm. What else? Am I missing something? Probably I am. So what do we have here? Right again, so I'm following this. It's going right over here, and it should be plus. It's going here, down here, to here. Getting here. Huh. And it is plus. Yes. So where does this cable go then? It's going through here. Ends up here. Um, what about these yellow ones? Oh, 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 okay. Let's see, let's see. So... We have... We have a red here. It goes over there there and there so now it's going here maybe i mean So now it's going through here to here. So is it going on the right way? Did I do it correctly? Okay, let's try with that. Um, and the minus is coming from here, so the yellow 
No. So the red goes where? Here goes the red. Going here. My Now, okay, I need to I need to check this once more. So, oh, I need to warm myself a little bit. So, okay, so let me check what red. goes to here where does the green go Maybe like so. I don't know if this helps. But why would I want to do that? So yellow is going where? Over here. It's going in this. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh. Oh, okay. Now it's coming towards here. But I don't know if that's a good thing. I'm guessing this should be on this. Or is this correct? Probably not. Um, wait, what happened? Sesame. What? What happened? Ah. Huh. Minus. Ha Did I get the cable colors wrong? Or is it Oh, oh. Or is the idea to get the opposite? Maybe. But what did these do? So this yellow goes to where? Well, I don't care. It, it opened. I don't know how. Snowmobile key. So big an effort for an old, so tiny piece of metal. Okay, that's so good. I'm still a little. So I had a few of these apparently correct, and I rest just rolling around. Um, I'm starting to get quite sleepy at the moment, so that doesn't really help. So I'm guessing it's the opposites that I need. Opposite that I need to get in here. Which makes sense, maybe. It's hard to follow this table. So the green goes here. And here. It's right over here. Here. Wait, what? 
Okay, I I don't care. I don't care. It's done. It's done. That's all that I need. So now I have the key for the snowmobile. So I need to find the last ski for the snowmobile. Ah. <sighs> Or am I missing something else also? Ski at least. And then I'll probably need to check the journal. Okay. Um, I'll probably need to end this episode because somehow I'm getting little problems with this. Let's see. I'll take a little look see around here. If I can see the ski, I think I'm missing just the ski. Oh, by the way, have I been in here? No. Hmm. Don't tell me it's somewhere over there. Probably not. I don't think I can get there. Did I check the toilet already? I think I did, but let's check it once more. Hmm. Huh. Anything in here? Nope. I think they were... No, that's a log. This somewhat reminds me of the thing. Take the duct tape anyways. Yeah, I don't know what's with the encoding overload. I never had that before on any game. And um And that last episode I don't think I had it. at all and this episode there are at least few times and one ba really bad um no that's a gas canister so why do i feel like i need to go to the roof and see from there maybe i need to go no Only thing that I can think of that could uh, cause the encoder overload, maybe there's snowstorm, but it doesn't do it all the time. So there's that. And why can I get here? What am I supposed to find from here? I know there's a hole in here, and I cannot interact with that. At all. Uh. No, I don't need the map. Can I drop? Yes, I can. Fortunately, I don't even die for that. I'll go back inside. No, that's a saw blade. Huh. 
Okay. Could it be inside? Wait. Well, at least there's some Polaroid film. Again, what are these dots? I'll probably have to decide whether I do something with those or not. No, I can't get behind there. Oh! Stealing road signs is a prohibited by law. Well, to be honest, I don't think he's in a position to care about that. Uh. Okay. What do I need to do? It ha it's gotta be somewhere here. Did I... I checked this car. What good was a motorless car? Now the open the door. Had an odd way to go about repairing things. What is that? Oh, wait. Right. Okay. How did I miss that I can open the trunk? Bit of gas, a new spark plug, and the key, and this thing would run perfectly. All he needed to do now was to find all that. Well, that's not a problem. Fortunately, I do have the gas at least. Um. Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. No, 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 no! Don't complain. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. Yes, we have. Uh, well, except the vision, because I'm not checking that, at least not yet. <sighs> I want to fix this before I end this episode. Come on. Can I? Wait. Oh. Oh. I'm sharing the... Inventory with the car. Good. Um. What do I need? Ah, uh, let's put the duct tape, hammer, these, lantern for now. Hmm. Pins, uh, pliers, do I need those? I don't know. I could use one painkiller. Well, not yet. Let's see how this works. Nice. A little bit hard to control, but Carl at wanted to know more about this oddball mechanic. Surely he would find something somewhere on this land. Yeah, now he's complaining because we haven't checked the vision. But, yeah, I think I'm done for this episode at the moment. Um, next episode, I'll have to see what do I do next. We have, obviously, the vision. Uh, we have the ice game. Let's see what the... So basically those two are markers for the ice cave and 
for the secret project. Yes, so what is that one there then? Oh, we have another cave. Oh, okay, we have two caves. One ice cave, one cave, and one secret project. Okay, so now I know. We've done with the secret project. We have an ice cave and cave. So I have to check which one I do first. But uh, again, that's for the next episode and I'll try to see if I can do anything with the overload thingy. Um, but I have no idea what causes it. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.